Okay, well, I made a little miniature plasma generator. That thing right there. A little tiny coil. This is like that uh, EM devices thing, only it's generating the plasma. And I'm doing it at 187 milliamps. So there's the amp draw I wanted to get out of a 12 volt battery. And uh, it's not much, but there it is, folks. And a little tiny, tiny coil. Little tiny coil. Uh, same circuit, Slayer 007 circuit. And uh, it's got the big, the big light. The big light. It comes in all over the place. You can get it off the battery. And it comes in off the, the voltmeter, ammeter. And uh, that's really, really cool. I can even make a fluorescent light go off here with it. And uh, that's pretty darn neat. And, and like I say, that's a that's a, a little tiny coil. It's a 30 gauge wire, uh, probably three or four hundred turns with about a three turn uh, three turn primary uh, Slayer 007 uh, um, exciter circuit. Anyway, I just wanted to let people know that you can build these things small and uh, you can still get your little plasma thing to work. And uh, I knew this had to do with turns ratio. That what we needed here was, it was not size, it was turns ratio. And this is what I wanted to prove. And Ian Devices made that comment that uh, I thought was very um, true. Was that what we're looking for here is resonance. And resonance with two different coils in a coil um, ratio to produce the voltage and the effect that we want. And this is proof of it. And like I say, this has given me some spectacular performance out of a very small coil arrangement and 188 milliamps, which is what I wanted to do so that I don't fry that little transistor down there. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. This was, uh, this was a success with this uh, little tiny Tesla coil. They call them mini Tesla coils. And I was inspired by EM Devices' uh, build on this. Thanks for watching.